everyone and welcome to this week's video. Uh, today it's actually snowing and I've got a snotty nose. Excuse the, the sound of my voice. But we're actually here to film a video where I talk about my favorite spring and summer knits. I mean it's April, so if we're going to be ready for our uh, spring and summer knits, now's the time to like get cracking with everything. And at the end of this video I will also be sharing my plans for this year's spring and summer knits, so stay tuned for that. But we got a lot of things to go through, so without further ado, let's do it. So first things first, what I'm wearing is thin set. So this is uh, a set that I knitted last spring. So this is just a staple in my wardrobe and one of my favorite knitted outfits to wear. So it has this uh, long sleeved tight fitting sweater like this, so it's a very basic Sweater. And then it has the matching skirt uh, that has a slit. Uh, some of you guys think this is really short, but I mean, you can always knit it uh, to the length that you want it to be. I just really prefer a short skirt. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. So I thought that we could start off with some of the more spring appropriate items, and then we're moving more into the summer season, because I think that's the order we're going right. So shell shirt is definitely like a warmer uh, garment because uh, it's knitted in alpaca and uh, silk mohair but it's just it has it's I think it still has like a spring vibe to it. So this is a shell shirt so as you can see it has this split front yoke um, that you can tie up if you want to. I prefer to for this one I actually like to have like a small not like that. I knitted a quite a uh, wide ribbing at the uh, at the bottom of this because I just like the silhouette that it gives and I think it suits the sleeves. Um, and I just love how like the sleeve, the luminous bit of the sleeve starts lower down so you have this kind of like a dropped shoulder effect. I, I just think it's very flattering. And the back also has a small ruched detail right here. Uh, before I go further into this video, I wear all of my quilts I often knit the size small. And I do have a slightly larger bust, but I just prefer how like a size small sits on me because I like, that's the way that I like it. But I mean, I could knit a size uh, medium as well, but I usually knit a size small in my quilts. So yeah. Um, but moving on from shell shirt, I wanted to show you shell tee as well, because this is another uh, great spring summer piece. I wear this all year round, but I mean, it's a cotton, uh, so it's very appropriate for spring and summer. So here's shell tee, um, like that, and I just love like how this drapes, like the thickness of the cotton just makes this it's so smart I think. I just love the fit of it. Uh, I will list I will make a list in the description box below where I put out like all the yarns that I used for each garment so that you know which yarn I used. But as you can see this has the same split front yoke detail. Uh, this has a more slimmer t-shirt sleeve, just like a basic t-shirt sleeve. And to keep it with the more loose fit, I decided to make a fold up hem on this one. And then at the back, I did like a, a detail where you have the ruching, which also gives it more of a looser fit. And just like a more relaxed fit, which is what I prefer to wear for summer. Sorry, my eyes. Oh, I got like a mohair fluff in my eye. But, uh... <laughs> Like I said, I just love to wear this for spring and summer. I think it's a great piece. And yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. Next up is another like more spring appropriate garment, but this is also like a blouse type. And this is called a uh, back to business blouse. So it's like a garter stitch blouse with a v-neck and then you knit the side seams with like a scrap yarn detail or you can have like a bright red 
that's I've seen. I would like to like actually like re-knit this in another color because I did this in a kind of muted uh, scrap yarn look. But I think this would look cool in like in like a red. Like to have like a smaller contrast and scene. Maybe that's what I should do. Like to re-knit it. Okay, let's put these yarns here and do that later on. But as you can see, it just has a really casual fit. I think the it sits really nicely on like the shoulders because it's quite a thin yarn. It just drapes really nicely. Um, and yeah. I think the contrasting seams like adds a detail and like a, te a structure to the to the blouse as well. So I think that's really nice. It, like elevates the like garter stitch. But I do think like that red detail could be really nice. And I think I would get more use out of it if I if I kind of like redid it because I really like the shape of it. But I just think that maybe this is a little bit boring. This color for the side seam. It could be so much like cooler. Just like see what a red would look like with this. I think another uh, great spring summer knitting pattern is uh, Beyond Bag which is just a simple bag knitted in garter stitch. But uh, I just think that this bag is like so fun to knit first of all. It's just I just love to like get creative with all of the different fades and everything in the yarns and create such a unique piece. But also, it's just a great little, great little bag, you know. So I mostly use this to like put down a phone and like a lip gloss or something. And that's what that looks like. Maybe we should talk about this sweater. I designed this sweater because I wanted to have like a sweater to wear in the garden for when I'm out like in the springtime and planting all the seeds and like prepping for summertime but you know it's April and it's snowing obviously so you still need like a kind of heavy sweater to keep warm um, so this is what I've designed for that purpose and I call it it's spring in the garden sweater so hence the name so this is actually an extra small because this was the first sample I made and uh, so I've just decided to like make the sizes a bit, a bit bigger. So this is like I said an extra small but I just really like how it sits. I think it's quite flattering to not have like a giant sweater always. And it's really cute to also wear with like a skirt like this. I think it looks kind of like chic, but this is definitely one of those sweaters that I mostly wear with like some dirty jeans in the garden and just live my best life, you know. But moving on, I think the next step would be like breezy back blouse. So this is like a nice sweater, but it has the breezy detail in the back. So it has the two little breezy holes for you to let the air through. There we go! So really simple in the front. I mean you could even do like a neckline in the same. I think this would be great to do like in one solid color as well. I've only done it with the contrasting uh, color for the edges or the rib details. But I think this would be great like in a black. Plain black, like the same the same yarn for the ribbing and the same at the back yeah you will see but I mean this is what it looks like from the front and then you have the breezy detail in the back and I designed this so that you would be able to wear a bra with it because right now I'm wearing a bra and you should you shouldn't be able to tell because the holes are like the the part between the holes should cover like the bra strap. So this is what it looks like. But yeah, I also have a t-shirt version of this, which was the first one I ever made. 
The pattern has instructions for if you want to do a t-shirt version or a long sleeved version and also if you want to finish off the the sleeves and the bottom with an I-cord or with a fold-up hem, like it is on this one. Okay, so here we go. So this is tie pack top. And I mean, it's tied in the front, but it has like a cross detail at the back, like so. So it's kind of like an apron style uh, top. But this is definitely one that I think is better without a bra underneath. Because <clears throat> it's just... I mean, otherwise you will have like total bra strap action in the back. But I just like to have like, throw this on over a bikini or just have it like in the evenings as a more fancy party top. I think that's really nice. Um, sometimes I also wear it like over a t-shirt, but I, because I think that's a look that's also really nice to like have it as a layering piece. But yeah, I'm going to put on a dress and then we'll try on the vests and like the ribbed sleeve thing. So I put on like a mini dress, because that's what I'm really into this season. And then I have this, everybody's favorite, you know, a lonely leftovers vest. It's a tried and true, I mean it's a good vest, it looks cool, you look more like dressed up, layered up, I mean you can wear this with a boot, a little knitted bag, and your, I mean, some sunglasses, it's a good look right? But yeah. Everybody needs this vest in their life because it's it's just a good vest and it's cool, it's fun, it's fun to knit, you get, you use up a lot of scraps, you get all the perks. And if you have knitted Lonely Leftovers vest and are up for a challenge, I think my honey vest is like the, the step up, the next way to go. Um, so this is in two colored honeycomb brioche. But I mean, it's just, it's a pretty vest and it looks great to layer over a dress like this in the summer. And I mean, this tie thing, it's trendy now, right? But I designed this vest two years ago. So I'm not sure who started it. But I mean, I don't think it was Gammy, right? Yes, I knitted a cap a few years ago, and it's really stretched out, but I mean, so she probably knit a new one, but it still works. So this has a tie at the back, and the thing is, like, you know, yarn stretches a bit. So my plan for this year would be to knit this cap in more of a wool and cotton mix so like the wool will keep the fibers more together because this has gotten a bit like sloppy over the years I mean it still looks really cute right it's a good look uh, it has a lot of cute details like this and then like I said you tie it at the back but yeah that's on the side cap this is one of those pieces that people I think people are unsure of how to wear. So this is ribbed sleeves. So it's like a bolero style type of garment. So it's like a really cropped sweater. It's kind of weird because you can't like see my legs. So it just looks like I'm a big white potato. But um, this is what the ribbed sleeves look like. And I think this looks really good, like with a sleek, slicked back bun, because then you can really like see the details. So imagine like a summer dress, like this, and then slicked back bun, 
maybe some sunglasses, a handbag, and like some sandals. I just think this is really like cute, fun, summer evening party dress. But because, I mean, I live in Sweden, it gets like warm during the days, but the evenings are cold, uh, even in the summer. So I think a shirt or a sweater like this, it just like elevates the look, but it still looks like fashionable. Because if you like put on a big sweater, then you're like, oh, where did my dress go? But yeah, this is red sleeves and I have one last thing to show you. So the last piece I have to show you guys is this top, which is called Next to Necklace Top, because it has this really nice detail at the neckline. It kind of looks like a necklace, so that's why I called it Next to Necklace Top. This is like a top I knitted almost two years ago, and I still love it, but I just think that I would prefer it was if it was a little bit longer, because I don't love to wear cropped things especially because i like to wear you know like a lower waist thing so this is a skirt with a higher waist and then i think it kind of like i mean it looks good but i would just prefer if it was 10 centimeters longer but this is definitely one that i would love to knit another one maybe in another like colorway but if you made it this far i mean pat yourself on your back uh, that was great. We had a, like a lot of spring and summer knits to go through But I mean, I'm a knitwear designer. I knit a lot of things and Since you're watching this video, I suppose that you do too So hopefully you found this like interesting and fun to watch But to finish off this video, I thought I would like change it to something more comfy We can like grab a coffee, sit down on my sofa and chat about some summer spring summer plans and what kind of patterns I'm hoping to release this season. So yeah, if you're interested in listening to that, stay tuned for a little bit. Just hang in there. We will talk about interesting stuff. <sighs> that was, a, I mean, it's, it was a long wash for you, but it was also kind of like a workout for me to like get in and out of all of those clothes. So I just, you know, I reheated some coffee I'm in my knitted chair that I love and we're going to like finish off this long ass video by chatting about some uh, some of my plans for this season so this spring summer so first off the things I'm working on first off is this skirt uh, it's the wrap skirt and I mean it looks it looks really silly for now but I mean I have knitted the the front edges and I think they look really nice this will need a block at some point to just like get everything evened out but they are looking neat and I picked up stitches for the waist as you can see but then I needed that three millimeter needle for another project so as for now it's just hanging on for its dear life on this cable wire but this is something that I will pick up as soon as I'm done with that other 3mm needle project. But I'm hoping to have this done like maybe May. I think that would be quite possible. Uh, so that's the skirt. And then for that I'm doing the matching cardigan. So this is the one I'm calling the My Dream, my dream Cardigan. So this is like a cardigan version of a thin sweater, I would say. So this will has, have a lot of the similar details. So it's like a kind of like a more tight fitting, but this one is more, this has more of a oversized fit around the, uh, over the, like the bust and the body. Uh, but it still has kind of like a slim fitting sleeve. This have more of a detail to the finishing uh, trims and stuff than the thin sweater that has just the rolled hem but as this fabric is thicker I didn't think that looked as neat as in the thinner just merino wool 
uh, so I added like a new kind of detail that I, ha I think I haven't seen this one before so it creates sort of like a, an edge and then with the rolled hem underneath it and it just I think it looks great so next up for this is I'm going to stick it at front to cut it open and then I'm going to knit the button bands uh, and then this one is going out for a test knit and I'm hoping to have this done like a late May or like early June I think that would be nice maybe like have the skirt and like the cardigan up at the same time so you can buy it as a set if you want you know you can buy a thin set or hella set as like a set and then you get like a better deal you know so I think that would be nice I'm really I'm so excited for this one because I think I will love it so much and I will wear it like with all the things I have like with with all my skirts with all my little mini dresses you know this is the vibe I'm going for this year so I think I will be in love with this one okay I'm not going to be too shiny because I know this is long uh, next up I got I've talked about the uh, Isa Trio 2 yarn in a lot of my videos uh, and I got it, you know, I got it and I didn't get the color that we talked about but I mean, I've got a free will, I can do whatever I want so this is the navy colorway and it's not, I love the way it's marked because it's not like a really light color and a dark color it's a black like a deep black and then a deep navy and they're like combined into this heavenly shiny yarn so I'm making a summer top with it oh my god I'm midst I'm right in a row mid in the middle of a row so it's kind of weird to show you. maybe I just okay give me a break and I will finish I will just knit this row you know this is what happens when you have kids that wake up during the evenings I'm like mom it's okay let me just throw my knitting away you know knit row okay so we got a top yeah okay it looks kind of weird but the idea is that it has an open back so you can see we got a wire here uh, and this, these stitches will be bound off with an I-cord edge later on. But then you shape, uh, you shape the back and it goes into the front of the armholes. And then I will knit this uh, straight up until you get around here. And then I will fold it double. And then I will knit a longer piece. And then we will tie a knot so we'll have like, a knot detail right here at the front and then it will separate into two straps and I still haven't decided if I'm going to do like buttonholes at the back so you can button it up at the neck like here or if I'm going to do two ties so that you tie it like a knot um, but I mean this I love the color first first of all and I've tried it on and I think the fit is like spot on what I want and I think this will be like such a good piece it's more of like a party party top to wear in the evenings in the summer but I mean this will be stunning I'm going to insert like a clip of me wearing it because I think that would be fun for you to see to just like see the details and like how it sits on the body um, and yeah I'm excited to see how this will like change in the wash uh, I think it would be <clears throat> I had this I didn't have like a, a stitch marker when I started to knit it in the round so I used a piece of scrap yarn with from another color way of this like a beige one and it just sat on my needle for like round after round after round after round and then like it got so soft it just felt like it was yeah you know how linen gets like really soft with wear and that's what it was like so I'm excited for that another like in-between project that I want to get 
like cracking on, which is more of a like big chunky needles, thicker yarn. Still haven't decided which yarn I'm going to use though, but yeah. I want to make a bag, like a kind of like a mid-sized bag that you can like have on your sleeve like that. And since I have like, I did this little, uh, this little model of it for it. So I don't know if, I think I need to like scooch in to be able to show you guys this. But I mean, it's, <clears throat> the idea is that it will look like this. So you start at one end and then you work a ribbing and then you work a brioche and then you go into a double knitting at the midsection here. And then you start working the brioche again and then the ribbed edge. Uh, and then you will be able to like do a little bag like this. Can you see that? Uh, so then you will knit the sides at the end uh, and like make a strap out of that. Like that. Isn't that like a cute shape for a bag? Um, maybe I should do like a pink. I'm thinking kind of like a girly one. I would never do a pink. So maybe I should do a pink. But yeah, I think that would be cute. A cute shape for a bag like more of a a pouch shape so yeah that's what I'm hoping to cast on when I have like the vibe and the yarn for it and other than that I've been swatching for like a mesh project I know notorious knitter are making a lot lots of mesh garments uh, and I just I also want to do it you know I want to do something mesh uh, I have tried another stitch pattern that is like different from hers <clears throat> so I will see what I can come up with I would love to make a dress because I still haven't made a dress and I would love to make one with kind of like a thicker maybe like this kind of cotton yarn um, I did make a dress for Svata Fawad in this kind of yarn and I just think it's really nice so yeah <clears throat> we'll have to see but, okay, I'm gonna stop chatting now. I'm going to stop chatting, and uh, my plan for today is actually, I'm starting the office makeover, and I'm hoping to have that video uh, out in a few weeks, so then you can see like my full office makeover I'm doing over everything to make it like more of an appropriate knitting office. But if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. This has been a long, long one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below which your favorite summer knitting project is and also which your favorite summer spring summer yarn is to work with. And if you knit any of my patterns, make sure to tag me in your work because I just love to see what you guys are making. Uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Okay, so next